Hello everyone, welcome back to Jus de Rose. With summer coming up, of course I had to share my top fragrance recommendations. I will be also matching each fragrance with different outfits. You have shared some great feedback on mixing fashion and fragrance, so I'm back with mixing these two elements together. So if you'd like to know what are my top 10 best summer fragrances for women, then make sure to keep on watching. Starting off with the number 10 position, we have Nishane Wulong. Cha. This fragrance is a fresh and extremely long lasting tea scent. So normally tea fragrances, citrus fragrances don't last on the skin at all. They tend to be more volatile molecules, but this perfume lasts on my skin up to six hours, which is really nice for a tea scent. It's juicy, fresh and clean. You have lots of citruses with mandarin, with bergamot, orange, and there's also a fruity note of fig. The combo of the citruses and the fig bring a juiciness but freshness as well which I really enjoy and overall this fragrance is quite a calm and relaxing scent. So picture this, you have woken up at dawn before everyone else and you are just about to watch the sunrise with a view on the sea. You made yourself a cup of oolong tea, that's the kind of like peacefulness and relaxing feeling that I get from this perfume. It is beautiful. So the way that I would pair this fragrance is with a flowy dress that is breathable because it's likely you'll be wearing Wulong Cha when it is very hot outside. The color of this dress is gorgeous and I love the detailing. It is so pretty, very delicate, just like the fragrance. Next, we have a very popular summer scent, well, at least in France, because it's associated with a dry oil. It is Prodigieux Le Parfum by NYX. And ladies, for once, this is more of an affordable perfume, which is always nice, but it smells very qualitative. So so this fragrance is the main fragrance within this like really beautiful dry oil that it's really nice to apply after you spent a day in the sun and you want to like moisturize your skin and smell really good. It's basically this encapsulated in a perfume. So this fragrance is a white floral. You have some magnolia, gardenia and orange blossom blended with a rose and it's more of a fresh, dewy, musky rose. All of this mixed with a dreamy coconut milk and vanilla. This fragrance is so perfect to apply after you've taken a shower, you've washed your hair, you've cleaned your skin, you've moisturized and you want to prolong this feeling of blissfulness and like holiday and like you have no care in the world, very carefree and you just want to smell really good in the nighttime and also a little bit sexy. This is the perfect fragrance to reach out for. It almost feels like a ritual. And for some reason, this fragrance is giving me a beige and white color palette. So of course I had to match accordingly with my outfit. Really cute pair of white shorts. Love the dainty detailing and layering it with a cute beige crochet crop top and finishing off with some cowboy boots because why not? Next, we have a floral fruity fragrance by Jean-Paul Gaultier. It is La Belle Fleur Terrible. This is the new flanker, a limited edition as well, that is very different to the original perfume. So the original is a caramelized pear type of scent. It's very sweet but also fresh at the same time. Whilst with this one, it is more aqueous florals with like a tropical vibe. You're gonna get a little bit of that pear, at least to my nose, even though it's not listed in the official notes. I get like a pear-like fruitiness, but it is much fresher and much crispier in this perfume as in the original. So La Belle Fleur Terrible has notes of iris, vanilla, lily, and ylang ylang. Can't really detect individual florals in this scent. They're all blended together, extremely fresh, aqueous. There's a bit of like a salty vibe. Like this is to me what a holiday would smell like abroad. Very fun and girly. I absolutely adore it. I'm going for a cruise resort vibe with this outfit, pairing it with a pair of white shorts with those golden buttons and then a cute polka dot top that has the most stunning bow in the back. Very girly, which is why I love this look so much. Honestly, Jean-Paul Gaultier needs to make this fragrance a permanent addition to the line because in my opinion, it is the best from the La Belle range. Next, we have Blanc Polychrome by Atelier des Ors. Such a fab, long-lasting citrus perfume for summer. It's a type of fragrance that you want to wear when it's very hot outside. Like, it will cool you down. So it is a fizzy citrus. You have lots of zesty mandarin and lemon on a bed of transparent white florals. So you have mainly a citrus dominant note 
with some white florals in the background and also in the dry down you get some musk. This perfume gives me the impression of drinking a lemon infused San Pellegrino, lots of little fine bubbles, a wedge of lemon. You're drinking this in the most beautiful terrace in the Mediterranean, living your best life. This is what Blanc Polychrome is about. I personally like to reach out for Blanc Polychrome when it is super hot outside, like it's great to have a zesty citrus scent. So of course you want to dress accordingly with a pair of shorts. This is a royal blue pair, but I'm loving from Zara. So cute. The detailing is really pretty as well. Matched with a white top, but I wanted to add a touch of elegance because in the fragrance you also have a bit of sophistication in it. So I added a white top with some ruffles, which goes very well with the overall feeling of the fragrance and I think adds a little thing extra to this outfit. And yeah, as I said, it is super long lasting on my skin. It lasts 10 hours plus with a really big projection. Couldn't recommend it enough. Blanc Polychrome by Atelier des Ors. Next up, we have a favorite of mine for summer, Vanilla Vibes by Juliet Has a Gun. This is the most addictive salty vanilla fragrance. It's so good and it's a type of vanilla that you want to wear in the summertime. It has that feeling of being at the beach all day, you're tanning, you're applying this like coconut scented lotion mixed with the saltiness of the air, you're by the sea, you're taking dips in and out of the sea during the afternoon. That is a kind of impression I get with vanilla vibes. It is so good, not the most complex smelling vanilla perfume, but I really, really enjoy wearing this scent and I love layering it with another fragrance I will be talking about in this video which you probably already know of because I always recommend this combo so I rarely wear this perfume alone I always like to layer it with other fragrances because it is quite a linear perfume so it's going to smell the same when you first apply it to many hours later it is great for layering if you love vanilla and you're looking for a vanilla that will make you think of the beach good times, then I recommend Vanilla Vibes. Since Vanilla Vibes is really a carefree fragrance, I wanted to go for like a beach chic kind of outfit that I would wear over a swimsuit. It's very comfortable. I love the blue color. There's some sparkles, the little pom-poms of different colors. The worst thing to put in the wash, <laughs> but it's perfect for an afternoon beach club moment. Next up, we have quite an unusual fragrance. I don't think I've talked about it that much on this channel. It is Oud for Happiness by Inicio Parfum Privé. Very different to Oud for Greatness. The two couldn't be more polar opposites. Essentially, Oud for Happiness I find to be quite a meditative, calming perfume. So to me, this smells like candied ginger. So it's spicy, it's sweet, and there's a distinctive herbal hemp notes, which is really unusual, but it works. It really works in this fragrance. I wore this perfume all throughout my honeymoon. I was by the beach and it just reminds me of all these good times. So I recommend you take this fragrance if you're going away to a sunny destination by the sea. This is perfect. I would pair it with a bohemian type flowy dress. Again, comfort is key here. I'm loving those earthy color tones. It's giving me like relaxing jungle vibes with a pineapple smoothie in hand. Like this is the kind of thing I wanna be thinking of when I'm wearing the scent and also wearing this outfit. Number four, we have Moonlight in Heaven by Killian. I included this fragrance in one of the more long lasting fresh fragrances. If you're looking for like something that clings to the skin, again, this is a really great one to reach out for. A juicy, tangy mango fragrance with electronic accents. Imagine like an overly ripe mango squeezing all of that juice and mixing it with the most creamy coconut milk that you could ever find. It is very unisex, bang in the middle. You can totally share this fragrance with your partner. It doesn't lean feminine or masculine. It's really in the middle such a addictive perfume and I would pair this fragrance with an all orange outfit to reflect the mango with some like pinky notes too. I love this blazer, the little feathers, like I'm basically feeling like I'm a bird of paradise. I can totally imagine that, like a bird of paradise flying around the Amazon rainforest, like this is what I'm going for with this outfit. Okay, for those of you who are looking for the ultimate summer gourmand, it's also a new release. I would recommend you go for Blanche Bette by Liquide Imaginaire. Can we just take a moment? This fragrance is incredible and I would recommend it for those of you who like ultra milky lactonic fragrances such as Milk from Commodity or Rolling in Love by Killian. 
this fragrance is going to be right up your alley. So it has notes of tuberose, jasmine, cacao, vanilla, tonka bean. Honestly, to me, this smells like a really rich cacao butter mixed with coconut milk. It is so delicious, very sexy as well. You can wear it during the day, but I would recommend wearing this during the nighttime. In fact, I'm gonna spray it right now. It is so good. And on my skin, it lasts around seven hours, which really isn't that bad. I've worn it a few times and I've already received compliments on it. So clearly people seem to be drawn to this like milky, coconutty, chocolatey thing going on. And the way that I would wear this fragrance in terms of mixing it with fashion, I would pair it up with white tailored pants. This is if I would be wearing this fragrance during nighttime, maybe on date night or something like that. You can have like a little blazer on top as well, but then you remove the blazer to reveal the crochet top that I was wearing earlier. I like the contrast between the two. It's like very chic at the bottom, but then party at the top, all whilst keeping it classy. Very chic, timeless look. Such a great perfume. I highly recommend it. You can find it at Jovois. And no, this isn't sponsored at all. I just love shopping at Jovois, especially because they have a ton of samples of like higher end niche fragrances that are more difficult to find. So I'll put a link to to that down below if you're interested in this perfume. Coming in at number two, we have my beloved Hibiscus Palm by Erin. It is not number one this year. There's another fragrance that I enjoy wearing even more than Hibiscus Palm at the moment, so stay tuned for that. But for those of you who haven't yet tried Hibiscus Palm, this is one of the best Frangie Penny dominant fragrances that I've ever tried. So if you like exotic tropical florals mixed in with some like coconut milk, some musk, then this fragrance is for you. It is more on the fresher end, so it's never gonna be like too dense or thick or you know, it's perfect for like that hot summer day. You wanna feel tropical and exotic, then you whip out Hibiscus Palm. It is really, really lovely. This will bring you to a tropical beach, cocktail in hand. That's the kind of scent that this perfume makes me think of. And I find this fragrance to be really feminine, so I would pair it with a pink dress like the one that I'm wearing today. You need to run to Zara right now to get your hands on this. I love the little ruffles on the bottom of the dress, balloon sleeves. Pairing it with statement earrings is a must. And then again, the pair of flats, perfect summer look. And the number one fragrance for this summer, in my opinion, is In Paradise Riviera by Ex Nihilo. This perfume is yet another limited edition. Can we please do a petition or comment down below if you've tried this fragrance so that the brand makes it permanent? It is so fantastic. Oh, I adore this perfume. So it is a flanker to Lust in Paradise, which is a fresh, floral, fruity, musky scent along the lines of Delina, but a little bit more refined, I would say, and fresher. So you have peony, there is some musk and some lychee, but with this new version, you strip off the lychee and you keep the peony, the musk, you add in some tiare and cashmeran. This is what this perfume is about. It is quite fresh, but not as fresh as hibiscus palm, I would say, and it's not as intoxicatingly floral as hibiscus palm either, so it's more delicate and soft. Picture this, you are lying in the sun on holiday, enjoying all the warmth from the sun rays, you're feeling really relaxed and that feeling of like pure bliss is what this perfume is about. It's like pure bliss in a bottle. I absolutely adore it and I would pair it with a little white dress to show off that tan because you've been at it all day and you may as well show it off at night. Pair this little cute feminine look with wedges. I love these ones. There's like little fruits on it. Looks adorable. Like imagine you are like in Ibiza or something. This is the vibe that I'm getting. And that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this list and also the corresponding outfits. Let me know in the comments down below which is your favorite summer fragrance. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching and remember, spread the fragrant love.